according to a November 2008 cable, Israel wanted Gaza's economy to be, quote, functioning at the lowest level possible, consistent with avoiding a humanitarian crisis. Before the blockade, we never needed the tunnels to get our goods in, but they closed the borders and that's when the tunnels phenomenon started. It's not so easy to find a job in Gaza, even if you find a job it's not for, uh, for good, I mean it's just for a short time. My name is Nadal Abu Taima and I am 23 years old. I graduated as a staff nurse from Al-Azhar University and I work in the tunnels now. The dire economic situation and the unemployment is what pushed us to work here. You have too many graduates and not enough job opportunities. The nature of my work is labor. I do whatever I'm asked to, from pulling sand to pulling merchandise. ويطلع على إسرائيل ويجي من إسرائيل ويجي كانت يعني حلو الفترة هذه صار حصار سكروا الهاد سكروا البحر وسكروا البر وسكروا الجو وسكروا كل شيء كان مفتوح البحر حوالي 12 ميل 12 ميل بمشي نشل الصياد الفعش للصياد نقصوه لها 60 ميل ما عاد ما تقلت 60 ميل بصير الطخ عليك مش طخ مثلاً طلاق تحزري طلاق طولقين ثلاثة لا يعني كله مرتبط في بعض السولر الميه الكاز لانه مواتير بدها تشغل مواترات السولر والكاز بده يشغل الماتور الماتور بده يطلع ميه المي مقطوعه قطعت الكهرباء قطعت الميه فهي بتصفي مشكله كبيره وعدي كل بيوت على هالرشه بدي اجي اغسل بلاقي ميه بدي اجي اشرب بلاقي ميه بدي اجي اتحمم بلاقي ميه اذا فيش مي حلوه اشرب Muhammad was a tailor at the factory. Now he's struggling to support his wife and five children. Like 80% of Gazans, his family receive help from the UN's Relief and Works Agency. But he finds queuing for food packages humiliating. When I come here, I feel frustrated because I used to have a profession and I earned a good salary. These days, I rely on charity as if I were a bigger. This is not really a dignified life. And everything is expensive. And every, not everything is, is available. No, it is, it is terrible to be one and a half million without any connections with the world. This is a new way of fighting the Israelis, a non-violence way, which is really like the real image of Palestine. Many Palestinians here believe in non-violence, and today they, they prove that they believe in non-violence. happened in the United States in the 1960s, the civil rights movement. You know, there were waves and waves of people. They knew they were going to get hurt, maybe. They knew they were going to have dogs set upon them. They knew they were going to be hosed down with, by, of water, of, with strong water hoses. And they kept on coming until one day they won. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing. There'll be waves and waves of flotillas until we reach our goal and break the siege of Gaza. The flotilla's journey to Gaza is in doubt. But regardless of whether or not their ships leave port, passengers say they're already one step closer to their ultimate goal of freeing Gaza.